Now at 5 on KMTV, the judge called them heinous murders in South Omaha and sent him away for three life sentences. But the highest court in Nebraska has ruled that Timothy Britt deserves a new trial. Senior reporter Jake Wazikowski is live with more on the case that dates back to the summer of 2012. Jake. Craig, that triple murder was cold blooded. The victims killed execution style. Now the man convicted in that triple murder will have another chance to prove he's innocent. Because I'm innocent. Simple as that. They broke the law to prosecute me. Now I'm going down for it. That's Timothy Britton 2014 when he was sentenced to three life prison terms for the June 2012 murders of Miguel Avalos and his two teenage sons, Miguel Jr. and Jose, at their ninth and Bancroft home. The father was a known drug dealer, and prosecutors say a group went to rob him of drugs and money. Brett says he was put at the scene by witnesses with credibility issues. The state Supreme Court agrees. Today, in a unanimous decision, Britt will get a new trial because statements made by Anthony Davis, a co-defendant, to other witnesses put most of the blame on Britt and shouldn't have been allowed as evidence. Well, for Mr. Brett, of course, we're, we're very happy for him. Uh, Mr. Brett always maintained his innocence about his involvement in this case. Now, at the time that that person allegedly made those statements, the person who was convicted, he had every reason in the world to be blaming our client to try and, you know, absolve himself of what he had done. Douglas County Attorney Don Klein says there's disappointment that they'll have to redo the trial, but understands the Supreme Court's decision. He plans to refile the three first-degree murder charges against Britt. There's some pieces of evidence that won't come in that came in at the first trial, but it doesn't mean that we still can't move forward. Certainly, we, we intend to move forward. We feel we have the evidence to go to move forward. Well, this means they will go back to square one. What it does not mean is that Britt will be released. He will stay behind bars until his next trial. Now, that trial date is still unknown at this time. Reporting live outside the Douglas County Courthouse in downtown Omaha, Jake Wazikowski, KMTV Action 3 News.